Hello everybody, it's me Ross and welcome to another video. The summer transfer window is closed and boy, town had a busy summer. Mark Aston and co didn't get it wrong today. 19 players in, two, yes, two on deadline day, Burson Slina and Sam Morsey. Oh, it was busy boys. I'm joined by David and Liam as I get their thoughts on the transfer window as a whole, their standout signings and did town miss out on maybe one more player that we need to sign, but We'll get the boys' thoughts on that. We're going to go over to David first. Uh, David, your thoughts on the window as a whole. Are you a happy town fan? Pretty much. Um, I, I think you'd be churlish if you weren't really, wouldn't you? Um, and, unless you're living in sort of the world of football manager with the editor on, then um, and I think there's a lot of players who, if you were trying to get them on football manager, you wouldn't have been able to get because they wouldn't have been interested. So you have to give the club credit for dragging players down to a level you wouldn't have thought they'd come to. Um, and then there's there's some nice players in there. It's an undoubtedly stronger side. Um, there's a couple I've raised my eyebrows about, which feels slightly sort of late season Paul Hurst. But generally speaking, I'm not just sort of chuffed. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted with what's happened, yeah. yeah. I'm sure, Liam, you're going to echo what David said and we'll get into, you know, the standout signings. But for you, Liam, are, are you pleased? Of course, you've got the, the goalkeeper shirt on. Um, <laughs> we signed Christian Walton, of course, um, on on Monday, you know, bank holiday. Mark Hass didn't have a day off on a bank holiday. He got that sorted. You happy with the deals that Town's done? Yeah, I, I think um, the biggest takeaway you have to take from it is that the majority of these players that have come in have either taken cuts and dropped a league or have decided to come to town over championship interest. So it shows just what pedigree these players have got that the interest that was there so it just shows you the the pulling power that Ipswich have now got with the the financial backing and and I think what Mark Ashton said in that video um that he put out uh, yesterday or this morning uh, with the club um just about how it's all part of a wider plan and that people talking about we just threw money at it and we gave all these players massive salaries to get them to come down. And yet Ashton has said, yeah, we did spend money, but it's not anywhere near to what people are thinking in terms of that. And that just shows you how good it is that people are interested in playing for Ipswich of the quality of player we've got in. And let's be honest, last last uh, decade or so, this is the, the all of these players are... Uh, a massive upgrade on any player I think Ipswich have signed in the last decade, apart from the odd loans that were unattainable at the time. So you've got to be delighted. That is the word, delighted. And David, let's go and talk about the signings there. 19 to pick from. Um, standout ones, of course, Burson Slina is up there. But for yourself, what are the pick of the bunch? Which ones are you happy most about? And uh, yeah, what a, what a window. Uh, well, the one I've been surprised about has been Bond. Um, who I thought would be sort of impact coming off the bench, a bit versatile, but he's hit the ground running. And I think that being a town fan has added 5% to his game, um, which can make make or break it um, ultimately, can't it? If you, if you just sort of like that little bit more because you've got the desire. So of all of the players so far I've seen, he's been the one who's impressed me most above and beyond what I expected. Burgess, we've been crying out for that. Um, for so long um, he's made Wolfenden better um, he just commands, he organises and that's what we've we've needed that since Berra started declining and then that last season of Berra, he wasn't great um, so yeah, it's, it, it, that's absolutely filled the hole, so Burgess and I do love a big hairy centre-half you know, everyone gets overexcited by the forwards but it's it, defending is a, is a beautiful art form and the structures you need to defend, not just from the back, from the midfield. I don't know much about Morsi. I know everyone's really excited by him. But that, again, is something you really need. So those two. And the other one is Coulson, who I was really impressed with. We got him. And the early signs are that he's he's going to be a, a player. And yeah, you can get excited by Edwards and all of the others. But um, it, it, it's it's keeping those, you know, having that solid line which is going to give you the ground grounding to go forward and all the flair players to do things um, afterwards. 
So those three for me are the absolute key ones. I was really excited by Evans. That was that. If you'd have asked me this sort of three weeks ago, then I would have been sort of yeah Evans. But um, my excitement levels have declined slightly, partly because we've got Burgess and stuff in, and partly just well yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not at the the start that he probably wanted to, and um, it looks like Morsey could be coming the new town captain. You know, Evans has been having the armband. Maybe Burgess, as you mentioned, we haven't even seen Edmerson yet either. He's the the fridge. I, I, I think I think if Burgess was going to get it, he would have got it when he came into the side. I think the reason why it's been given to Evans temporarily, and and it's just been a sort of on a on a game by game basis, is because Cook had in mind that we could get Morsey, and I think that that's probably been sort of one of the discussions is you'll be the captain so if Morsi after his suspension doesn't come in as captain I'd be quite surprised yeah but yeah what, what a sign that was deadline day person's leader and Morsi unbelievable uh, Liam that was one of the things isn't it is about leadership and yeah. manager after manager in the past has said about leadership and people like Burgess in there and um, and Morsi that's what you're putting onto each area of the pitch. You're putting somebody to go, actually, you're doing this. And that, that I think, is quite important as well. It's, it's beyond the quality of the player. It's also about what they bring to the side overall. And like Bon wanting to play for the club, that brings a different thing. It's a different form of leadership. Um, so, it's like Liam was saying, those players are head and shoulders above what we've had before. But that's because we're not looking at players who could do well and we're a League One, we're saying we're going to compete at the bottom end of the Championship at least, which is what we should have done all along. And um, of course, we haven't started the season off so well. You know, these players need a gel. We, of course, we're not going to be playing Wickham um, this Saturday because it's been postponed. So we've got another few weeks on the training ground. Um, I want to go over to you now, Liam. Uh, your thoughts, your takeaways from the 19 signings, which ones are standing out for you? You know, David's saying he's loving the, the hairy ass defenders and the midfielders who will <laughs> win the ball. Um, I'm sure you like your flair players. And I think the goalkeeper situation has now been sorted as well. Uh, yeah. I... <sighs> I mean, uh, David has pretty much nicked the players, but I was going to say, for me, the standout has had to, has had to have been Coulson. I think he's been out of them all. I mean, Bon has been really good and has got his well, he got his two great goals um, in against MK Dons, uh, but uh, especially that first one coming off the back of such a a horror miss in midweek, which lots of players mentally could have just disappeared um, and to show the the mental strength to score a goal of that quality is just, as David said, it's probably the fact that he is a, a, a town man through and through and he, he it's giving him that extra 5-10% to really push his levels. Um, but I think Coulson for me... Um, in the games that I've seen him now looks really good. Um, I, I, I guess it's just fitness at the moment. He has come back from um, COVID as well, which which is obviously not seven bells out of him. But, I mean, I would have been tempted to maybe push him further forward on Saturday um, and bring Penny on uh, for, um, I think it was Edwards who was flagging. Um, and then you've got a little bit of solidity down that side. But clearly, if Coulson isn't properly fit, then um, there's not a lot you can do with that. Cook had to make the changes he had to. And fortunately, it is what it is. But I've been really impressed with his driving uh, runs from, from fullback. Um, and, and, that's, and, and Edwards, obviously, it looks really good. But I think fitness-wise for him, is holding him back at the moment. Um, like Saturday, he was brilliant first half, second half again, first 15 minutes. But just after that hour mark had gone, he was out on his feet and he just struggled to get into the game. But you clearly can see he's going to be a player. I think I think the big thing for me, I mean, Morsi, I think is the signing of the, of the, the whole window. I mean, to get him on the last day as well is, is just an absolute... Uh, on a permanent deal as well is just a fantastic piece of business. He's exactly what the club needs. He, he's he's someone who's going to break up the plays. He's, he's going to do the dirty work, which at the moment is what Town, I think, are struggling with. And this is why Town have not yet got off the mark in terms of, of winning a game yet. 
is that these teams don't necessarily have vast amounts of quality, but what they do have is is almost kind of brute strength, kind of bulldoze you at this level. And with our lack, we're lots of players lacking fitness, I think, and and are, are trying to get up to speed. We've just become so soft in the last twenty minutes, and we, we get we get very very tense and nervy. We can't keep the shape, and I just think having someone of the quality of Morsi who's going to completely just do all the dirty work and break the game up and and do what we need to do, then it will allow the uh, the the quality creative players that we brought in uh, to do their stuff further up the pitch and. Selena, I mean, I remember Selena from the loan spell, and I mean, he's a brilliant player, um, and he's a bit older now, so he'll be a bit more experienced. Um, I, I think it's just been a great window. The goalkeeper situation had to be rectified. Clanky has obviously struggled. Um, haven't seen much of Walton, but in terms of obviously his credentials, working with Cook before. Um, and has been and has won the title at this level with Wigan with Cook. Um, can't be a bad thing, and he's, he's come from the Premier League as well. So you'd expect him to be full of talent. Although I'm not saying that that is a given, um, seeing as though we've had a few mixed results in in that regard. <laughs> not naming naming names, Will Norris, <laughs> but um, but. Uh, basically, it, it's been a great window, um, the quality. But I, I just wanted to touch on what David said about the fact that the players are a step up in quality of what I said. But what he was alluding to, it's about culture as well. And and that the players that we, we've brought in is is to create this culture um, in, in the, the background. And I think what Cook has put together um, is a... a a winning culture. This team are full of players who have played at higher levels, have won titles at other clubs and so on. And that, that I think, is what Town have lacked for a long time. They've lacked players who know how to win and win competitions. And, and I think for this, we've now got a lot of players who shouldn't be at this level and players who have won this level before who can lead us to it and we've just got to get I think we've just got to get going get that first win and then the momentum will be with us That is a, a perfect way to end it but I want to get David's final say um, do you think Town could have maybe we've got fantastic depth everywhere is there any positions you think we could have maybe strengthened in just in case but you also got to have that 22 man squad so it's sort of Paul Cook's going to have a lot of headaches of who he's going to leave out who's going to play there <laughs> No not, not particularly. I mean, if if I was looking anywhere, then I'd wonder about um, the total depth in the central midfield because I, I don't trust Nolan. Um, plus, he's permanently injured. So, I don't... We, you've effectively got three and only one defensive midfielder. So, that's a slight question mark. My... Only question mark about the whole thing is, is a couple of the forward signings, which seem a little bit overloaded. Um, Luco and Barry, um, for me, they smack slightly of, oh, they're available, let's get them. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a plan. I, 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 this is, what's, the, what's the phrase? Trust the process. Um, <laughs> when they sign, the, the three players I was least infused by when they signed were Luco, Barry and Hadkey. Everyone else is going, oh, he's an amazing keeper. Never heard of him. Whatever. Walton seems a much stronger option. Those are the three I went, okay. And from what I've seen, Barry looks like he's got a lot of promise, but he's a very unfinished article. Um, Aluko, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Jonathan Douglas on the wing. And Kladke, for me, is has different set of failings to Holy, but they to me the, the pair of them are very, very much muchness. Holy can't go down. Kladke's got soft hands, um, but it, it that, that's that's quibbling, isn't it? I mean, when you look at the transfer windows over the last five, six years, um, Hawkins. You look at before that. Uh, I mean, Hurst's splurging, and then 
his his random collection of loan signings at the end of it, which when he suddenly went, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to loan everybody. Um, Jordan Graham, uh, I say no more. So you you even and, and you will find even some quality players. You'll look at somebody who's got a pedigree somewhere else, who's done really really well, and they come in here and they don't do they just don't do it for whatever reason. You look at Norwood before, who everyone was really excited by, and I like Norwood. I think he's a great player. But it's never quite worked. And that that's something which I think you'll find with a couple of players. Whether that's the ones I've picked out as being my particular weak ones, we don't know. I mean, Aluko may have had two dodgy games and turn up in three weeks' time and become a world beater and, we'll, and, I, and I'll have to eat my words and apologise to, to everybody. But for me... It's we, we're slightly overloaded at the top. We've got slightly too much choice over there. It's marginally too little, perhaps, in the centre. Um, but but th- those are really quibbles, aren't they? I mean, if you, if you look at the, squ- the squad on paper, then um, it, it's so much stronger than it has been for several years. I think it's one that could compete in the lower mid mid table and the championship. Um, so no, I, I don't think we need it anymore. I just think that perhaps we've. Been, done slightly excessively in that, in that forward area in cover terms. Well, I think that's the perfect way to end it. I'm sure you've got other things to say, Liam, but I think that is the perfect way to end it. David, Liam, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me. Let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on the window. I'm sure you're a very pleased town fan. And we'll be back for the next video, the fan social. So tune in for that and we'll see you then. Bye for now.